going on guys? This is Gene Jensen and I want to introduce you to the new Motor Guide XI3 kayak trolling motor. So before we get started, for all you loyal watchers, viewers, whatever you want to call yourselves, all my subscribers, um, the next several videos or a few, a few of the next several videos are going to be of products. This is iCast season um, and we can't go to iCast so it's all virtual. So I'm doing a few things extra this year for my sponsors and this is one of them. This is the new XI3 kayak trolling motor. Um, basically what it is, is we've had a lot of guys, a lot of kayakers who've been buying the XI3 and cutting the shaft down and voiding their warranty in order to get a short shaft trolling motor. Well, Motor Guide listened and they came out with this one. All right, so what we're gonna do here is I'm basically just gonna go over what I used to install it and how I installed it and then talk about some of the features of the motor. All right, first of all, let's go ahead and deploy it. And you can see that it's a lot shorter and I think 36 inches is really the ideal length for this. You gotta, you, it will be good for just about any kayak. I don't think they found one yet that, it, that it's too short for. So the way we've got it mounted is really cool. It's, it's the motor guide quick release mount. Let me show you how it comes off. Just got this little bar right here. And if you wanted to lock your motor on your kayak, you could just put a padlock through that hole and it would lock it on there, to keep people from taking it. But you're gonna wanna take it off every time you go to trailer it or put it on your truck or, anything, or in your car or anything else. But anyway, simple comes right off you got this real easy bracket four simple holes now with a bona fide you're gonna have to put a spacer and what we did is we got a piece of PVC uh, paneling basically from Home Depot and cut it down to fit underneath there and it's just a spacer so you can get the get the rod in above the gunnel so but every kayak is gonna be different so you can you just pretty, pretty much are gonna have to pick and choose how you're gonna do that All right, so let's put it back on real quick so it just goes in like that and it's clipped and it's ready I mean that's pretty solid we've been running it for what two months now a month and a half two months and it hasn't given us any issues at all all right so let's show you how to deploy it you just push a little button push this big button right here and push it out be careful there's nothing to stop it from falling free falling so you got to hold it with your hand now for the wiring and the install so you're gonna want to pick up a male or a female plug. This is an eight gauge wired female plug. And you're gonna to wanna to pick up a male plug, which is right over here. Already, is, actually, I've got one. Got one right here. The male plug's gonna look like this. It's gonna have two little pins, but make sure it's set for either eight gauge or 10 gauge. For a 55 pound thrust trolling motor like this, I totally recommend an eight gauge. You just won't overheat. You, you it, it, uh, It's made for something that's gonna push that much power, so. The other thing you're gonna to need to pick up is you're gonna to need to pick up a waterproof 60 amp fuse, which I just finally got and I'm gonna install on this kayak. It's just a safety precaution, just in case you do something or something crazy happens, you don't blow up your motor. Put this in line uh, on, the, on the hot wire or the red wire. All right, so let's start with the plug. So we have right here, we have the male plug and it's installed. It's not, a, I can't remember how big of a hole it is. It's like a one inch hole or something like that. It just drops through and screws in. Real simple, easy install for that. Come around, two butt connectors. And the wire that I recommend, the main wire that I recommend is, this is silicone wire. Uh, made for boats, that kind of stuff. A little bit more pricey, but it won't give you any issues. It'll give you a whole lot of, you know, it, it does what it's supposed to do. Uh, real flexible. I'm not used to using it because I don't use it very much, but back when I used to build electric boats, that's all we used because of the flexibility, because of the the anti-corrosion and everything else that happened with it. So it was worth the, 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 worth the cost and you can get that at Amazon. All right, so what we did is we ran the wire all the way through the hole, all the way to the backside. Let me climb over my, my trailer without busting my tail. And what we use is we use the Yak Attack through hole wiring kit very clean very very sleek doesn't stick out too far real simple just drill a hole 
drop it through, put the little, there's a rubber spacer in between there that, that, uh, that seals everything up and it keeps water from going in there. So we ran the wire out, put two simple little gator, uh, gator clips on there, and that was it. These gator clips are really gonna be temporary. I'm gonna get some actual uh, mounting bolts or mount, mounting bolts for this, I just haven't done it yet. All right, so let's go over the battery. The battery I have in here is a 31 series. It's huge. It's just what I had lying around the house. I don't have any lithiums or anything else. I would recommend getting a lithium battery just for weight, you know, saving the weight and not being able to, not putting a whole lot of weight in your kayak. But this one weighs like 70 some odd pounds. We got a maximum speed of about 4.3. I bet we could get it up to five if we get, had a lighter battery, but it works. And uh, it lasts all day. And that was my biggest concern. So the, another cool thing about this motor is that it's not a foot control. So you don't have to have your foot on there to steer it. You just need the remote control. And what the remote control does is it runs everything. You can hit the anchor button for, for the pinpoint. You can steer it. And of course, change your speeds. And this thing flies. So it's just a cool little thing for a kayak. And I can understand now why a lot of you guys out there have already installed one on your kayak and why you're willing to avoid that warranty to have a shorter shaft because this is uh, a cool thing. Now my goal is, is to get Chad Hoover and KBF to allow us to put two motors on our kayak so I can have this one on the front and my Torquedo 1104 on the back. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna have to do a lot of favors to get that to happen. I don't think it's gonna happen, but it would be neat to have two motors, have one I could anchor and everything else. And it's been exciting to show you guys the Motor Guide XI3 kayak trolling motor. I'm excited about it. I, I know they are, and I, I just want you guys just to check it out. It's coming out no, July 15th, somewhere around mid-July. At least they're going to show it at ICAST or the virtual ICAST. But this is pretty cool. But guys, like I always say, be sure to introduce somebody to fishing. Introduce them to my channel. Let me help you teach them how to fish. More importantly, get out on the water. Go out and catch some fish and have a great day. We'll see you.